Hey everybody, my expect the comics and I'm back. This time I got part two of my CGC unboxing. If you're interested in seeing what books came back, stay tuned for that intro. Alright guys, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. All right, like I said, I got part two of my CGC unboxing. Um, these were, like I said, from if you've seen part one already, got some really cool signature series books. They're all signature series. I sent these out back in June, July, whenever Terrificon was. I did an in, in person um, uh, book sent out to uh, Captured Collectibles. There was a bunch of um, creators there I wanted to. Uh, you know get signed and uh, they took care of it for me and they just came back in the mail this past week so um, hopefully you guys enjoy part one um, and these if, if you remember part one I said that the last two books were Secret Wars books so uh, let's open them up and uh, see what we got so today I'm drinking I got to have some beer of course drinking uh, Bell Snickle it's um, Pumpernickel Bach beer brewed with rye and molasses. It's from a local brewery here in Rhode Island from Full Proof out of uh, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. This is um, uh, 7%. So uh, 7% ABV. So cheers. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So like I said, I was pretty impressed with the... Um, the first, like part one that you see now, this is part two, are uh, the books that I got back from CGC. The only disappointment was my uh, DC Comics Presents number 26. It came back in a lower grade than I expected at a 6.5. All the books were um, were pressed and cleaned by my buddy Justin. He does a great job. <clears throat> it was just, you know, what the guy I purchased from the books online on IG. He advertised it for like I think it was an, a VF copy and it came back a 6.5. So it is what it is. It's fine. No big deal. You win some, you lose some. That's part of the that's part of the game. So there we go. This guy is a captured collectibles, always packages the books perfect every time. Every time. So I never have to worry about any uh, mishaps from Postal. And uh, the good thing is I can, you know, I, I can reuse this stuff too. So I like to keep, uh, recycle the materials back, basically. All right. A little bit more. Like I said, just two books. Um, first book. And when I bought these books initially and submitted them, they were both Secret Wars issue number one. They were both uh, already pre-graded. They were 9.6s. Um, so these two books were not, not pressed or clean. I just, you know, submitted them. So they should, in theory, come back both at 9.6s, only difference is with obviously the signature series. So um, that's the hope. <laughs> you know, you know, sometimes things can happen after they get signed and they get sent back, you know, to uh, the grading companies. So here's the books. All right. So uh, you guys probably seen this book before. This is Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars issue number one, and. Um, it is dual signed, so I paid to get dual signatures by uh, Jim Shooter, which he was at Terrificon, and John Beatty was not at Terrificon. He was at a FutureCon. Um, sometimes they can get they can get you with that. Uh, he was like, oh, you know, this uh, creator is going to be at the next con we go to. Do you you know want to get this dual signed? So they kind of you know, add on the other signatures, but you know they're great guys. They take care of you. So it was a good way to get a two in one special. So. Uh, Got Jim Shooter here at the top, and um, John Beatty. 
Oh, perfect. He signed it right here at the bottom on Cap Shield. So hopefully we get that 9.6. Boom! 9.6. Excellent. So I was, like I said, I wasn't expecting a 9.8 by any means. I was expecting to get the same grade. And uh, likewise with the next book. Um, so hopefully we get the same thing in this book. And considering I got that at a 9.6, I'm going to assume it's going to be a 9.6 as well. All right. So second book. And we always like to, you know, inspect the cases as well. Make sure there's no, uh, you know, cracks and whatnot. No imperfections on the case. Um, looking at this book, I probably should have pressed it. Because um, it looks like there's a little bit of a indent here on the side but no no matter all right same like before you got the jim shooter signature there at the top and that nice john bd signature on cap shield what do we get 9.6 excellent excellent so awesome i'm excited for that um obviously these books i bought for as an investment um knowing that you know secret wars is coming down the road uh, and then obviously they announced the movie later on. So uh, they're going to be obviously integrating this storyline and the later Secret War storyline from uh, the Hickman run, I believe. And um, But nevertheless, this is still a great book to buy um, for the next, geez, next several years coming. Uh, so I plan on probably selling one of these and keeping them. They're both, you know, 9.6 white pagers. Um, one of them looks like it could probably improve with a press. Um, look, looking at this bump quickly, I'll have to look at the graders notes anyways. They'll have them, you know, be, they make them re uh, really easy nowadays to uh, look up graders notes on a CGC unlike before, um, if you didn't have a membership. But, uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark's Book the Comics, out.